Good evening, everyone. I、uh, hope you are doing well. Today is Sunday, and、uh, before my bedtime,、uh, I really want to do the energy update、uh, for October, but more for energy update for star seed and light workers. Okay, but I also know if you are watching this video, if you feel drawn to this video. You high potentially、um, that you are star seed or light workers, and the star seed and light workers they are different.、Um, I'm not gonna explain that deeply here, but I have been meditating more,、uh, and I have been really feel the energies these days.、Uh, a lot of tiredness, a lot of dizziness, my body sensation, a lot of things are going through, and October gonna be a very eventful month. If you think September, August,、uh, before twenty twenty four, the whole year、uh, has been very eventful, and October with a lot of things that you might cannot explain astrologically.、Um, I'm not saying astrologically you cannot explain. I'm just saying there's a lot of things that uh, uh, bring in a lot of energy from all the world、uh, on the earth right now, and、uh, through the a lot of、um, astro astrological. Events,、uh, there are so many things that happening, and you also know if you can vote in any country,、uh, there are fifty countries, fifty percent of the countries in the world are going through this presidential election.、Um, things are getting heated up in the next four weeks. Things gonna reach to a peak. There are certain unexpected event、uh, gonna happening. Gonna happen. I'm not here to try to、uh, spread a fear. I'm here to talk about certain energy when it's going on. As a star seed, as a light worker, you are here for a reason. Even though you do not know your mission yet, but just being yourself, you already hold that frequency, and that's your spot. Imagine as a spider web. Okay, you guys are all the anchor point. So it doesn't matter. You know your anchor point or not. You are anchors that energy. So if you are light worker or star seed,、uh, there are a lot of、uh, things happening on your subconscious level. Like I said, you if you but if you are can be conscious, which means you are you understanding what's going on. You're understanding why your body going through this sensation. Why you feel like you are a different person. Why you feel the energy is. I always, I almost can't describe this、uh, feeling. It's like you, you are very loose in your body. If that makes sense, it's almost like a dream, but you are not in a dream. But you also feel like there's something is not solid. Like it think, feel like the world is gonna flip any time. You know, like something gonna come in. Like if if now the alien, you know. Show up in my front yard or in my living room. I think I'm expecting something、um, unexpected going to happen, and I'm okay with that. I don't know whether I'm truly okay to see things in my living room, but I think I'm preparing things like happen like that. Okay.、Um, so for the October,、uh, I'm not talking politics. I already set a stone. Okay. But this is the mainly for the、uh, star seed and the light workers. Okay, I had to do some notes because、uh, messages coming、um, so much. These are、uh, waves of uh, uh, healing come in, which means waves of your when healing happens is when your emotional、uh, stir up, when you're very sensitive, when you are going through em a strong emotional charge. That's the that's the healing. Gonna come in,、uh, you being able to process, but also this、uh, your awareness is elevated. Okay, a lot of things that you do not understand that now it makes sense to you. Let's say before you are, you know, you already know your star seed, but somehow you cannot shake off the hardship that you experienced in the childhood or in the last couple decades in the past life. Like you, you understand it, but healing take time. Uh, healing need to find the point of injury. Feeling required to feel it. So you finally step into in the last couple months, couple years, the things has been unfolding for you. So in the October, especially、uh, after the、uh, we just had our full moon, right? 
Yeah, moon. Yeah, moon. I, I, I couldn't even, I couldn't even remember now. Oh, yeah, new moon. We just had our new moon on October 2nd. So you literally have almost feel like you got some information downloaded to you. But in the last couple of days, you've been processing, you've been trying to understand what you've been downloaded. Okay. Um, you are consciously elevating your awareness. Uh, there you almost uh, solved some big puzzle. You almost see something, the bigger picture. If before you already can see as a director, as a observer to watch your life in past, present, and future and in the parallel reality and parallel timeline. Uh, if you think that's already at a certain level, now you almost can zoom that out to see, be the observer of the different version of you in the multiverse, okay? That's a different level, okay? So uh, you start to understand the things bigger than what you suppose, what you were being able to understand. Uh, this is number one, which is actually good, a lot of healing, a lot of um, awareness elevating. However, this bring up another side is when your energy is open, especially those the ones that are uh, just start to open, just open, just uh, aware, just tap into past, present, future. You know, you go to the past to hear the uh, older version of you. You tap into future timeline to see uh, the which timeline you want to tap into. Just be aware. This is the uh, part that a lot of people, a lot of beginners, even myself went through is you on consciously open the portal uh you connecting with different version of you different dimension of the being from different dimensions it may be sometimes it's you maybe sometime your guides things like that you call in good things in but you don't close your front door when you isolate them in so be aware to close the portal okay because it's very important so i want to bring that uh, that side up is the uh, um be aware when you just started and if now i also want to touch up is uh, there's a lot of psychic attacks happening as well okay the intrusive thoughts uh also they will show you the timeline didn't go the way you want it and uh, you start to pulling into different timeline because now as much as we are be the anchor point um to bring the positivity in but also there's different energy pulling into the negative because when you think about negative is there's basically I, w I don't want to say the positive negative let's say uh, the left side or right side okay so in this way we, we're not going to be that let's say you choose on the the left side and uh, because left side right side wants the left side to see the right side right so then they will attack bombarding they will try to help the left side choose the right side okay and uh, uh same thing you know as the left side let's say represents more positive you know we also sometimes want the right side to see what's the left side point of view but now at this point there's a very intense energy so the right side might will attack left side you know want to pull them to the right side that's why a lot of psychic attack that's why a lot of conversations, a lot of news, disturbing things happening in the world to the point it's just like you're like, man, this is a horrible, okay? When you have this conclusion, horrible, your energy will to lower. You will all of a sudden from shift from left side to the right side, okay? So shield up is very important. Um, now, the next one, the third one, I do want to talk about because more and more people are awakening and uh i especially right now when you understand that you are an observer to watch different parallel reality of you different time space version of you you also know that you can access to the timeline to flip the timeline to flip the switch i call turn the table okay so this is uh, you can do okay if you haven't done that yet this is an invitation that we want to invite you to do uh to tap into your past present future and then to 
for C to see what's the different outcome you want. So which outcome you want. If everybody ever starts it and light works, uh, we all have a general guidance, but when you meditation, really tap into which timeline you want and anchor your energy all in that timeline. We literally switch the timeline. And this is very important, okay? Even when I deliver this message, I can feel the energies around, around me and uh, um, it requires me a lot of energy to even deliver this message through, okay? Uh, then this is bring to the next point I want to make is number five is actually uh, rest and slow down. Okay, you are in the midst of switching the timeline. The older version of you, you, you got to understand that you already a different version of you. That's why it's almost like your mind is switched, that your body is still so tired, it has not a catch up yet because even though you can be a fourth dimension being, fifth dimension being, or sixth dimension mindset, or you understand you can rise up to that dimension, but you are living in the 3D world, so we still bound with 3D rules. So your body needs a lot of time to catch up, So which means these days you might completely cut some food out because it's a really, really, when you look at that food, you know that food is dead. Uh, it's when you're putting your body, you literally feel that make you heavy, make you tired, make you dense. I don't have better word for that. So you might call it to go on a fasting journey. You might call it to cut. Maybe you're a social drinker. Now you totally complete cut coffee, cut alcohol, uh, cut a lot of um, uh, substance out of your body. Just keep your vibration really, really keep your body light. You know, you don't want to over process it because it's in the upgrading. So when you upgrade, let's say go on a new journey, when you somebody ask, ask you to move a, abroad, right? You cannot take your house, whole household things go with you. You have to choose what are the things the necessity to go with you. And this is the period of time. Choose what is necessary for you in your life. Let's say meditation is important, sleep is important, drinking water is important, exercise is important, stretch is important, being creativity in the uh, um, play mode is important. Do those things, yes. Um, maybe you might worry, maybe you worry about work, but just let you know when you wake up tomorrow, a lot of things already shifted and you're like, what, what, what just happened? This is the time that you really choose which ready you want to be and uh, as your mind, your perspective need to hop on that train first, then your reality gonna go shift with you, okay? Uh, what else? Have, um, be gentle with yourself and have a lot of compassion for other people. You gotta know a lot of things, not the news, um, on the news, there's a lot of things you can change. Uh, the things, <clears throat> Things has to play out in a certain way because uh, collectively we are all in this together and moving forward. Whatever is coming up is going to shake the core of system, okay? So what means that the older reality, reality is not going to, your life is not going to go back like before. And it's the way we communicate, the way a lot of things in our life, let's put it this way. A lot of things in our life are gonna shake to the core and to the point is you don't even recognize what's the new version of the world. Um, and I don't want to be too specific. It's because it's still unfolding and we don't want to spread this, uh, you know, because when if you know it, you will have more content. If you don't know it, it's almost gonna add more fear because people don't like changes, okay? Uh, changes usually bring a lot of, like the terrible moment, things gonna fall apart, like a death card, which means all the things you need to die to birth. And today, actually I just hold a third time, holding this big snake, so this python, the ball python. I'm really afraid of snake, okay? And the reason I brought it up is because the snake is actually going through the molding area, so we're just shedding the skin. And uh, um, we are also in the stage of shedding the older skin and you don't know 
what day, what moment. The process is already started. I don't know when that snake is going to fully uh, shed the skin, but it's very close. It's in the process. So uh, hopefully this um, energy update help you and help you to understand um, what's going on. Maybe some feelings that you don't have anybody to talk to and um, hope you find, find some answer. And even for myself today is a big day for me that my mind is still processing because I also uh, did some healing work on myself, downloaded a lot of things in my system. So I think my mind is still compute. Uh, the new information come in and uh, uh, wait it to unfold in my reality to what does that really mean what it not say what's that really mean what is really gonna when you manifest in the 3d what is when you think you're gonna feel that way first when things happen in front of you when you feel that you know the realness that's as 3d being you have this five senses right uh, so I'm waiting that actually come to a reality to feel to experience that because I want experience that okay so hope this video helps and feel free to uh, comment below and uh, um, share with me some of your uh, ascension symptoms and uh, anything that I say that it makes sense whether you feel your awareness elevated uh, whether you feel the you know psychic attack and portal parallel reality multiverse uh, all kinds of things and let me know what kind of topic you also interested as well. Um, I offer uh, healing work too. You know, uh, if you are ready to make peace with the older version of you, uh, check my website innocentsrehealing.com. Uh, there are different uh, healing sessions there. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. Okay, innocentsrehealing uh, at gmail.com. Have a great evening. Bye.